Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel. As you know, we are doing History of English Literature series on this channel. This is day 23 and in day 23rd, we are going to talk about again restoration period. In previous uh, two videos, we uh, talked about restoration period, its introduction, social uh, characteristics and literary characteristics and uh, in previous video, uh, I just talked about John Dryden, the eminent uh, prose writer of the A's and now we are going to talk about these writers in short because these are important. So you can uh, study in detail by yourself or you can wait for uh, next series where we will discuss each and every writer in detail. That will be a great series. We are doing summary series as well. You can uh, check out on channel. Uh, there are nine summaries are uploaded already. So let's start today's video. First is John Dryden as you can see here. John Dryden's work Essay on Dramatic Poesy is very important work to study. John Bunyan. John Bunyan you can see. Uh, Grace Abounding is his work, The Pilgrim's Progress, the most uh, famous work is and it is about the journey of Christian the Pilgrim from city of destruction to the celestial city and next work is Life and Death of Mr. Badman and this is a story and the Holy War and the, that is allegory. Now next writer Lord Halifax. Lord Halifax, just uh, you should remember that he is a re restoration, uh, restoration writer and his works are published under the title Miscellanies. Now next is Sir William Temple, his letters got published in 1700 and 1703. Memoirs. Memoirs were written in 1691 uh, and Miscellanea, a series of essays were written in that period by Sir William Temple. Now let's come to the uh, next part. Thomas Hobbes. He was a great political thinker of the age and uh, because they were using prose as uh, the medium of writing, uh, medium of uh, you know conveying their thoughts. So they also helped English literature uh, to develop. So the Leviathan was his work and it is published in 1651. Uh, he declared that the orig uh, origin of all power is, <clears throat> is in the people. So this was or you can say democracy, the idea of democracy was uh, you know taken from the Leviathan 1651. And next is Sir John Locke. So Sir John Locke wrote treaties on civil government and people have right to take away the power from ruler. And the ruler is responsible for the trust uh, reposed on him. And the third one, the important uh, uh, ideas written in the treaties of civil uh, government. And the third one is the legislative assembly are supreme essay concerning the human understanding this is important uh, essay to discuss so in some particular videos i will be taking these uh, these individual works and we will talk about them and the diarist the diarist samuel pepes from 1633 to 1703 and john evelyn 1620 to 1706 because this is important to remember the dates i have mentioned here in the notes you can uh, see on uh, the pepes diaries opens on 1st jan 1660 1660 1st jan and continues till May 31, uh, 1669. As a historical document, because these are uh, diaries and uh, somebody writes diaries and uh, they, life, they, they write about their life, so they also use the prose, so it helped uh, in development of prose. In the age. As a historical document, it provides an interesting view of life of restoration uh, London. So if we want to know about Restoration London, we can uh, say that we can go through the diaries of Pepys and Evelyn. So these are the eminent prose writers of the Restoration period. 
and hopefully you like the video if you like the video please do thumbs up and subscribe and share the video with others thank you for being with me see you in next video good luck for your exams